everyone, it's Miss Cockable here. Welcome back to the channel and another episode of What's Up Gears. Every Thursday I provide you with a rundown of all the latest news, events and exciting content across the Gears community sourced from GearsOfWar.com. Firstly, I just wanted to say huge thanks to everyone who supports our YouTube channel and thanks to the great guys at Insert Coin Clothing, we can now offer all our viewers and supporters our unique code to get 20% discount off not only the Gears of War clothing they do, but their entire range of clothing. And don't forget, they also ship worldwide, so this code is for anyone to use. The code is CCGGIC20. The code and link is in the description and also on the screen right now. Moving on, here's what's up in Gears this week. Gears of War 4 is two whole years old. Can you believe it? It feels like only yesterday that I went and purchased the game. They've said that your feedback will continue to be an important voice throughout both teams at the Coalition and some community feedback will see direct results and improvements for Gears 4 and of course much of it will influence what you experience when you play Gears 5 next year. Having said that, they've said obviously as they move closer to Gears 5, you will find less of the former and more of the latter becomes a new reality, but it doesn't mean they're done with Gears 4 by any means. There's plenty more to come, and of course they have a second anniversary to celebrate. So let's see what's going on this week. Stay Frosty makes its Gears 4 debut on Friday, October 12th. Get 4 XP all weekend to celebrate Gears 4's second anniversary. The commemorative Golden Gear Pack is back for this weekend only. And new Gears of War 4 Avatar items are out now. Gears 4 Second Anniversary Event 4 XP Weekend. You know it, you love it, it's back again. Get a huge 4 XP boost across all of Versus and Horde throughout this weekend. Stay Frosty. Stay Frosty is back. Last seen in Gears of War 3, Stay Frosty is the TDM SWAT variant of the Gearsiverse that now makes its debut in Gears 4. For those of you who don't know, Stay Frosty in Gears 3 armed you with a higher damage hammer burst, pocket sniper worthy snub pistol and a grenade. With no DBNOs, the game was all about ranged combat, effective use of cover and smart movement. But what does the Gears 4 version look like? Well, apparently it's going to be up to us. They're going to build Stay Frosty alongside the community, gathering our feedback on specific aspects of the mode to help make it the best it can be. They're going to try some ideas, of course, some might work, some might not, but they've said together they're going to make it the best Stay Frosty, even if that ends up being the original. So here's what they have planned for version 1. Mode will be Team Deathmatch, Rounds 1, Respawns 35. The loadout will be Hammer Burst, a Golden Gun and one Grenade. The Hammer Burst Tuning, 1.5 Burst to the Head will down, 3 Burst to the Body will down, an Active Reload will be Rate of Fire Increase, No Damage Buff and Increased Cooldown Time. The Golden Gun Tuning will be No Aiming, Hit Fire Only and a Starting Ammo of 4, the grenade tuning will be reduced damage radius, weapon spawns, hammer bursts only, and DBNO on. The biggest change here is obviously the substitution of the pocket sniper's snub pistol for golden gun, our instant kill hip fire only pistol. Hammer burst will still be the name of the game, but the golden gun provides the opportunity for high risk, high reward kills that helps break some of the deadlock that could sometimes occur and stay frosty in a different manner. They've said unfortunately, due to an unforeseen bug, they have had to keep DBNOs enabled for current iterations of Stay Frosty, but they're looking to rectify that in a future update in order to bring back the instant kill experience for the Hammer Burst. Does it work? Well, apparently we are the judge. So you can tweet your feedback on the Golden Gun weapon substitution beginning tomorrow by tweeting at Coalition Gears or posting in the Stay Frosty forum thread in the Gears 4 category. Iterations may be as quick as within the first event or in future appearances of Stay Frosty. So there are also some Stay Frosty weapon skin challenges, including your first ever chance to take home the Heartbeat Lancer. So we've got Stayed Frosty, win 10 matches of Stay Frosty between the 12th and the 22nd of October at 10 a.m. Pacific time, and you reward the Flaming and Heartbeat Hammer Bursts and defrosted get 50 kills and stay frosty between the 12th and 22nd of october at 10 a.m pacific time or and your reward an exclusive heartbeat lancer 
Also this weekend we have the Golden Gear Pack. They're bringing back the commemorative Golden Gear and Golden Gear Weapon Skins for one last time to celebrate the second anniversary of Gears of War 4. Find the Golden Gear Pack in game throughout this weekend for 400 credits. The Road Ahead. Mark those calendars, here's a look at just some of the biggest Gears 4 events still to come for the remainder of 2018. We have 4XP and Golden Gear, October 12th to the 15th. Stay Frosty, October 12th to the 22nd. A special Halloween event, October 23rd. Final Achievements, early November. Horde Boss Rush, November 9th. Thanksgiving, November 22nd. And of course, Gears Must 2018 throughout December. These are just the biggest milestones for the rest of the year and peppered in between these juicier events will be events you know and love too, like the return of Blitz in November. On top of the events, they have more content and challenges to come in the future, so stay tuned for the latest right here every week in What's Up. New Avatar Items Just a few short hours ago, the new Xbox avatars have rolled out on Xbox One and Windows 10. If you're looking to Gearsify your brand new avatar, they've got you covered with a whole host of items ready to suit you up gear style. The free items are a Kate Diaz beanie, Gears of War weapons t-shirt and Gears of War logo hoodie. Costumes available are the JD Phoenix armor costume, Kate Diaz armor costume, Gears 4 Marcus Phoenix armor costume and the COG uniform. Other items you can get are a Juvie mask, Clayton Carmine helmet, Crimson Omen t-shirt, Camo Crimson Omen hoodie, a Gears eSports jersey and a Crimson Omen white skate shoes and black skate shoes. You can check out here, you've got Octus modelling the Marcus armour and looking pretty damn good if I say so myself. You'll need the new Xbox One or Windows 10 update to access the new Xbox avatars. Xbox One users can manually acquire the update now by heading to their settings. Museum of Community Glory this week they've decided to do things a little bit differently and highlight another form of content creation within graphic design. Introducing Yetta, Ashley aka Yetta is a Gears competitive player and prominent figure in the Gears esports scene. She will be competing with some of her old Fire and Ice buddies in the upcoming Toronto regional event taking place November 10th and 11th. You might not know it, but Yetta has had the chance to create weapon skins for multiple esports organisations, Team Elevate and Fire and Ice. She has also created Twitch overlays as well as YouTube and Twitter headers for Gears esports players, teams and commentators. Without further ado, here is the art they wanted to showcase. You will find some other great art on her portfolio and you can also keep in touch with her on Twitter. Are you a Gears video creator in the community? Tweet a link to your channel to at Coalition Gears with hashtag What's Up Gears for a chance to be featured in What's Up next week. Everyone featured will receive the TCA commendation answer. Coming control. The 2v2 Nash's hotfix is now live. Please let them know if you experience further connection issues. Gears 4 latest game update went live October 9th, so you can click using the link below to read the update notes. Season 5 stats include 2v2 Nash's are now accessible on gearsofwar.com stats page. They have said please allow up to two weeks following the October 9th game update for the team animal skins to be added to your inventory. Octus responds to the discussion on the ranked system in Gears 4. Are you missing Gears eSports viewership weapon skins including San Diego? Post using the link below. And as always they're continuing to work with partners to get two notable Windows 10 issues resolved as soon as possible with two known workarounds posted below. That's it for this week's What's Up Gears. I hope you found it informative. As always, a big hug and a huge thanks to everyone who's supporting our YouTube channel and our Twitch streams. We really do love getting to know everyone in the Gears community. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss next week's update and our other content. In the meantime, add our gamer tags, Cock Couple and Miss Cool Whip and come join in the fun on Twitch, Twitter and Instagram. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other.